Hey guys, Kalen Angloss here, and today I want to talk about one of the things that can limit your sports performance more than anything, and I know you've heard of it before, it's called lactic acid, okay? I'm going to tell you exactly where lactic acid comes from and how we can get rid of it. That's the most important thing, how we can deal with it to keep our, our performances going and to keep improving, okay? So lactic acid builds up when we do really explosive movements or any type of anaerobic movement. That's where, where uh, lactic acid comes from. So doing those movements is fueled by carbohydrates. We've talked about energy systems before. Well, carbohydrates is what fuels us during those high intensity movements. Now, carbohydrates break down into glucose. We'll do this real quick. Okay, now glucose is what fuels us. That's the actual fuel. To do this, glucose drops into what we call glycolysis. It's one of the energy systems, anaerobic glycolysis. I'm just going to call that AC. Glucose drops into there. The end product of glycolysis is pyruvate, okay? Pyruvate, we don't need to worry about it too much, but well, we do, but we don't need to worry about the name. Pyruvate turns into lactic acid, okay? That's the bad stuff, so to speak. It's actually not the bad stuff. What's really bad is this uh, process gives us hydrogen ions, and that's actually what affects performance. Don't worry about it too much. But lactic acid, having that there, we can get more hydrogen ions. That's gonna make our performance even worse. So how do we get rid of this? Well, it's something you know what it is. It's called active recovery, okay? Active recovery. We keep our muscles moving. We keep the blood flowing. That's gonna take this lactic acid that builds up in the muscles, it's gonna send it back to the liver. Not back to the liver, but it's gonna send it to the liver or it's gonna be worked in the muscle. From there, it can be turned back into glucose and we have more energy, okay? So we can get rid of this lactic acid. That's what gives you that burning feeling. Again, it's actually the hydrogen ions, but the lactic acid being there is a presence of it. That's gonna affect your performance. So we gotta get rid of it. Keep those blood flowing, keep the muscles working. That's why the cool down is so important. You guys have heard me say this before. You have to cool down after an intense exercise if you're gonna to continue to perform and if you're going to continue to train on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? Real basic stuff here on lactic acid buildup and removal. If you have any questions, email me at kaylinangloss at gmail.com. Ask me your questions on KFIT conditioning, but that's lactic acid. That's how we get rid of it. Cool down. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll talk to you next time.